Hey guys, welcome back to episode 2, I believe it is now. Or 3. Episode 2 or 3, I'm not, uh, I'm not too sure. Anyway, we go into our first game uh, against Hull, I believe. And I start off the game by getting a penalty. It's shocking. And at this point, I presumed he was going to go left, but he uh, chipped it over me. Yep, he chipped it. So, then it's 1-0 to them in the 24th minute, but Mikhail Smith bursts through and shoots, and then um, cuts back, does a finesse, which then hits the crossbar, which uh, is a bit disappointing. But then Buckley powers through, gets tackled, but nevertheless still gets it, and shoots, and it just goes wide. And during this clip, it's just um, McLean and Wyatt, I think I said, just walking past, which uh, leads me to a corner, and uh, with Mikhail Smith crossing it into Hammond, who gets his head on it and gets it above the keeper, and my Elgato cut out there for some reason. And in the 75th minute, I then make it um, one all, I believe, it, or two one, one all, uh, which is an all right. One point against Hull City, so not too bad, not too great. Which then puts us sixth in the league, if you can see on the uh, right-hand side. So, I then come in another game against Barnsley now, and um, this is a, a game I needed to win, because I was at the bottom of the playoffs, and I needed to, well, hope, hope to get into the playoffs, so then I could maybe get into the Premier League. But I, th I don't know if it's a bit too early, which means I need to still strengthen my squad a bit. But nevertheless, um, Wallyson powers through and hit, then hits the crossbar and Dobby takes a touch, which puts it out of play. Um, I was I was a bit angry at Dobby, which is a bit <laughs> irritating. Um, but nevertheless, Dicker then also gets a chance and just puts that wide as well, which is a bit disappointing. Kuzak then kicks out to Bit Bridcut. Bridcut misses the header, and the uh, and then Barnsley gets a goal in the 73rd minute. At this point, I wanted to push on to get the goal, but. <laughs> Seeing as this game uh, doesn't really like me very much, I didn't get any points from it. But, no, a player does get red carded, I thought I'd just bring that in because I don't usually see the uh, Com getting red carded, which I found pretty funny. But, uh, nonetheless, that's a red card for them. The game then ends 1-0, unfortunately, leaving us with no points, which is a bit depressing. Then going into our third and final game against Middlesbrough, I then had to win this game. It was crucial for me to win this game because I think I just dropped out of the playoffs at this point, so it was vital for me to get a uh, to get at least a point. I then get a free kick there. Uh, Michael Nate steps up, however, I didn't really want him taking it to be honest. So I'm just scrolling through because I hadn't really got a free kick chance with anyone. And I was just scrolling through, seeing trying to take it. I thought I I tried to pick Bridcut, but I forgot you had to press A. So I then come to Bridcut again, and then press A, and um, slots it over the wall, and puts it in. That is right. I scored a free kick with Bridcut in the 13th minute to put us one 0 against Middlesbrough, which was this was a uh, good free kick. I uh, did enjoy that. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep replaying it because I don't really score free kicks on this game. Because I don't know why it's just suddenly got. And if you looked at free kick stats, you'd understand why I kept on replaying it. Anyway, Emnes then crosses it in and it falls to Ju. <laughs> Not even attempt that. Which then makes it 1 all. Uh, Michael Leite then plays it to Dobby, then plays it to Wallison. Wallison then plays it back to Dobby. Dobby then plays a through ball, a lovely through ball, uh, to Buckley, who then passes it across the box to Wallison, who then slots it bottom left corner to make it 2 1 in the 58th minute. Which uh, puts us ahead 2 1. Which then ends that score, which then gives us the vital three points that we needed that we dropped last game, which was a bit irritating. 
And there's that free kick again. <laughs> so if you look on the right hand side, we're back in the playoffs again, which is a uh, good sign. And going through, Kuzak's now plus two. He's now worth 3.1 million. And he's 20, rated 72, which is shocking. This will be, I won't be able to get him, which I'm, I'm really annoyed about. Bridcut gone up one there, now he's worth 1 million. Buckley gone up four. Now he's worth 1.4. His form's bad though, Michael Leite. Now he's gone up three though. Um, Wallison's gone up three, so now he's worth 3.7 million at the age of 23. He's gone up two, so now he's worth 3.7 million, and he's uh, 19, which is a bit annoying. The Walla has gone up two, has that special something it said, which was um, quite surprising to me. Madsen's gone up two, which uh, increases his price to 1.7 million also. And just scrolling through, it doesn't look like anyone else really did anything. If, please leave a like, and I'll see you in the next episode.